Hi right, guys, welcome back. Uh, today we've got this uh, battery monitoring device. This is a shunt-based monitoring device, which means a shunt is this object right here. So this thing, um, you put this on the negative terminal of the battery, and it measures the voltage. Well, that accounts the number of electrons kind of passing through this junction. So it's one of the most accurate ways of measuring current and also the um, energy content. I want to go over how to install it um, as quickly as I can. So once you get one of these, I find the easiest thing to do is to find the harness that has the right pinout. So there's a two, three, four pinout. This is a four pinout configuration. So just go ahead and plug this in. such this is the three pin and for the two pin this would be a temperature probe stick it right here as such. All right. And with the the biggest one, the one with the four pins, go ahead and attach it to the shunt. And so that should get you started. Now, what we'll have is we'll have the shunt attached to the battery. It's a temperature probe, and then we'll have this. I think this is like an RJ. Not a 45, these telephone cables, I forget what they're called. I haven't seen these in a while. I'm going to go ahead and use this. And connect it to the RJ4, or this RS485 display, which is this display unit right here. So that way we can see what's going on. A user interface. That's it. And from now on, it's just a matter of uh, connecting this to the negative port of the battery. So you would have a negative port on, on one side, and then you have maybe the. Uh, oh, here it is. No, yeah. it says right there load battery. So the battery would go on this side, right? And the, um, we call it the inverter or the charge controller will go on this side, the negative, and that would normally just attach directly to the negative post. All right, now once we have the wires all connected, uh, another thing we have to do is determine how we're going to power this thing. Are right, there are two methods of doing it, and one is self powered, the other is kind of a, well, not self powered, yeah, you provide a separate power source. We're going to self power it. And self power, there's a button right here. Up is for two watts, down is for three watts. So if it's self powered, it'll be in the two watt mode. So just keep it in the up position. And what we're going to do is we're just going to, um, when we connect the power line through this thing right here, we're going to siphon some of the battery power. So we're monitoring a 48 volt system. So we're going to be siphoning power on here through a 48 volt system. Now there's a handy dandy chart that they provided. This is the self powering method. So this is our battery and this is our charger. So we're kind of the porting in part of the positive link and siphoning the negative link. So this will be our load right here. We're going to back up a little bit. So uh, this output control, this three port line, we're going to disconnect that. We won't be using that. 
So this is all we need, the four port and the temperature probe. And on this side, the very top line, the VSN, what's that, VSNS? Well, that's going to be our, that's going to siphon from our positive lead. And we're going to do that through this little adapter right here. All right, so after a couple of hours of fiddling, uh, we are finally up and running. This is the shunt device. So I have to make an extra section here so that way it will fit in more perfectly with the existing battery setup. Um, I have two AUG cables and these, uh, these connectors, the holes actually didn't fit because I got the 400 amp unit and I suppose they're expecting a bigger connector. So um, I had to drill a 3 8 hole onto the mounting surface on this side. And so I added this kind of extra piece of uh, two off wire to compensate. Now, um, as you can see, it's reading from, from this little module right here. And the module is connected through a telephone line to the monitor. The monitor um, is not right right now I, I gotta go over another session to over programming it because right, it's showing the voltage and it's showing the amperage but it's saying I only have 14 amp hours remaining uh, this is a 200 amp hour setup so it's, it's not calibrated anyway so uh, more to come